you've probably heard the popular claim that humans only tap into about 10% of their brain power. Neurologists have debunked that urban legend countless times in the past, with many calling it a laughable myth. But for whatever reason, people have still chosen to believe it, and the entertainment business might be, at least in part, to blame. It is estimated most human beings only use 10% of the brain's capacity. In the new sci-fi thriller Lucy, which hits theaters this weekend, Scarlett Johansson plays a woman who's implanted with a mysterious drug that increases her mental capabilities exponentially. And other recent releases, like Limitless and Transcendence, give the idea that we only use a fraction of our brain's computing power. But as Lucy starts to make people question this idea's validity once again, doctors are reiterating it just doesn't make sense. It's not true. Absolutely not. We're using 100% of our brain all the time. Except for perhaps on Monday mornings, right? Well, no one knows for sure where this popular 10% myth originated. But a professor of clinical neuropsychology at the University of Cambridge told the Belfast Telegraph the 10% figure was widely circulated for the first time in the 1936 bestseller, How to Win Friends and Influence People. She claims the author probably made up the figure to prove a point in the book. But that 10% number could also come from a misunderstanding of how most of our brain cells work. What's interesting about this is that if you get a brain scan, you will would see that maybe about 10 to 15 percent of your brain is always extremely active. To be clear, the entire brain is always active. As Life Science pointed out back in 2010, brain scans have shown that people use all of their brains, though it's true that we don't use all of it at the same time. Years of studies like that don't seem to be getting through. A survey sponsored by the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's research last year found 65 percent of Americans still believe people only use 10 percent of their brains. So why don't people let this myth go already? Well, a health writer for the BBC says it might be because it's a pretty encouraging idea. Maybe it's the figure of 10% that's so appealing because it's so low that it offers massive potential for improvement. We'd all like to be better, but sadly, finding an unused portion of our brains isn't the way it's going to happen. Hopefully, the film industry will catch up with the world of science soon. But hey, at least it makes for a good movie night, right? For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris.